Hi Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome to today's video. It is Saturday, May the 21st, which happens to be International Tea Day and it's time for another Wacky Make A Do 2022 with a bit of a twist. So here goes guys, I thought we could do a mini make along to celebrate International Tea Day. It'll run for two weeks, it'll be a small scrap project and there'll be a few small prizes at the end. So have a think about that while I tell you a little bit of information about International Tea Day. International Tea Day is observed annually on May the 21st, according to the United Nations. International Tea Day aims to raise awareness of the long history and the deep culture and economic significance of tea around the world. The goal of the day is to promote and foster collective actions to implement activities in favour of the sustainable production and consumption of tea and raise awareness of its importance in fighting hunger and poverty. International Tea Day aims to draw global attention of governments and citizens to the impact of the global tea trade on workers and growers and has been linked to requests for price supports and fair trade. So for those of you who don't know, yes, we grow tea in Australia and especially in this region. Tropical and far north Queensland is a grower's heaven for tea. The Narada tea plantation up on the um, tablelands, which I told you about last year and I gave away a small um, tea pack from there, they grow 85 to 90% of Australia's tea and it's a lovely place to visit and enjoy a pot of tea and some scones and nature while you're there. There's also the Daintree um, farm up in the Daintree rainforest on the um, Daintree river in the Mosman area. They grow it there. I've had their tea. It's lovely. It's a nice place to visit a long drive but it's nice. Now there are some other places in Australia that I've never been to that grow tea and I did think oh I could do a trip put that on my bucket list and visit all these tea places. So the Byron Bay Tea Company which produces Byron Bay Tea, Byron Bay tea in New South Wales, the Red Sparrow Tea Company which was established in 1988 in Coffs Harbour the Timber Yewa Tea Company in the steep hills overlooking Noosa in Queensland. The Two Rivers Green Tea Company located um, in Alexandra, Victoria. So there's some of the tea companies in Australia. So we actually do grow quite a bit of tea. You can buy it commercially in some of our supermarkets, especially Narada tea and some Daintree tea. Um, the others... I've never come across them in this region, but that doesn't mean I can't get them online. So, the mini make along for the Wacky Maker Do starts today, International Tea Day, and it will end on June the 4th, 11.59 p.m. Australian Standard Time. And sometime on the 5th of June, I will upload the winners. Now, it is open worldwide, you must be 18 years of age and please read all the rules that will be in the description below before you enter and make sure you can eligible to be enter. The prizes are just small prizes but they're going to be relatively easy. There'll be three prizes and they will be three pattern purchases to the value of $10 on either Etsy or Ravelry. Three draws and a person will, each person will receive one $10 pattern purchase of their choice. Now if you don't do patterns or um, aren't into Ravelry or Etsy then we can come to some arrangement if you decide to enter. Now how do you enter? Well you take some scrap yarn from your stash and you take a photo and then when you've made a cozy you take a photo and you can post those on Instagram or on our Facebook group page with the hashtag Witches Brew AU. If you're not into social media, you can send me your photos, but you must take a photo of the yarn before you turn it into a cozy. 
Now, everybody knows I love tea and I like making tea cozies, but this make along is open to a varied range of projects. Now, these are some of my tea cozies, my cane toad, my naked gardener, a few others back here. But you can make a mug cozy, a bowl cozy, a tea cozy, a French press coffee pot cozy, or a can cozy. There are your choices. Can cozy, mug cozy, tea cozy, French press coffee cozy, or a bowl cozy. Now make sure it's something new you made, not something from the past. And that's why I'm asking for a photo of the scrap yarn before you turn it into a project. And that's all it is. You just post your pictures. And we can have some fun celebrating International Tea Day as a wacky maker do as a group. Let me know in the comments below what you think and if you want to join and if you have some other suggestion of a cosy you'd like to make and is of the eligible. So I thought this would be a lot of fun to see what people come up with and to inspire you in the description below I'll link some patterns. There'll be a link to my um, Gift of Love Tea Cosy which is on sale on Etsy for about $4 Australian. Um, a link to Karen Wright's Mug Cozy pattern on her Etsy shop. Very cheap, great mug cozy. It's got a coaster mug cozy. It's great. I'll put a link to this bowl cozy because this is the famous Bag o Day bowl cozy that I made a couple of years ago. And she has a tutorial for that on her channel. Um, there'll be a crochet tea cozy. Now, Yarn Inspirations do a great Jacob's Ladder tea cozy for those crochets out there. So I'll be a link to that. And one of the fun things I've looked at at Bag of Day that I've never made is she has like a hand holding a can cozy or crochet and you can put your can in there. And I always think that'd be great for camping when you're cold when you still want a can to drink, but it's too cold to hold. So yeah, I'll put a link to that um, tutorial in the description below. Now, if I inspire you, you can um, join in with the Yarny Corners make along and it's called Inspiration something. I'll put a her hashtag in the description below and it's um, going for about three months on um, Instagram. Now, I think each month she's doing a prize and their pattern prizes too. So that could be a lot of fun and all you have to do is use her hashtag and hashtag me as who inspired you to join in. Now here's another benefit. If you're in my Rock 2022 AU Make Along, you can make your project and use it for both. There you have it. You could use it for the first album in June or the last album in May if you're struggling. But there. I'm not going to be fussy if you tell me it's hashtag rock22, hashtag witches brew AU. Because we all are short of time. But yeah, just make a little project. The mug cozy is up in a couple of hours. The bowl cozy is done in a couple of hours. And if you make a small tea cozy, this one took me less than an hour. So yeah, it should be fun. And we all get cosy with International Tea Day. Guys, I hope you join in. I hope we have some fun with a wacky maker do. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and if in doubt, make tea. Bye for now.